Hi guys, so this video today that I have made for you is my first video, obviously, and I'm really excited. I really enjoyed making this. What I have for you is just a brown smoky eye. It's very warm brown. Um, I wear a lot of warm shades because my hair, well, it's really faded, but I wear a lot of like orangey red shades. Um, that's just kind of my thing. So I just did kind of like my go-to eye today. So it's just like dark brown with um, oranges and stuff. No liner, but lashes, obviously. And just my signature pop of glitter and my favorite lip color for you. So this is just my go-to makeup and I didn't think there was a better makeup look to do for my first video than what I like to do and what I lean towards doing the most. Um, no wing because I'm lazy, which is what I do the most <laughs> because I'm always lazy. Um, but yeah, so I hope you like this video and if you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm sure I'll say that at the end too. Peace out. Alright, so to start off, I'm going to take my Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm for my primer. And this sounds a little crazy, but it has a high amount of of glycerin in it which is like super glue for makeup so once you rub it in rub it into your skin for a while it'll start to dry and get tacky so once it starts to dry it gets a little tacky and then that's when you want to go in with your foundation I'm gonna use the L'Oreal true match foundation in W2 I'll take my Sigma flat top kabuki brush just any dense um, flat top brush you want to take it go in and I kind of pat do downward strokes and buff and Basically, you just want to keep going and going until it's completely buffed into the skin no harsh lines and You have the coverage that you want All right, so now I'm going to use my NARS creamy radiant concealer in Chantilly and then I'll take a super damp Real Techniques complexion sponge and just start buffing that out. I go over the eyelids a little bit too just to get a nice even tone over my eyebrow, over my eyelids. Alright, so I'm going to set my under eyes and everywhere else that I put the concealer with my NYX HD finishing powder. This is the pressed one, not the loose one. And it's in the banana shade. And then I'm going to take a little Morphe M438 brush and just go ahead and press that underneath the eye area. Set the chin a little bit around the nose area and on the nose and a little on the eyebrows. And I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyebrows and sculpt them out and I'll be back for the eyes in just a second. Alright, so now that I have my brows on and I sculpted them out with concealer, I'm going to go on with just any primer. Um, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. one because I like it. And then I set that with the same brush and same powder um, just because you don't want to try to blend eyeshadows over a sticky base because they won't blend. Obviously, it's kind of like common sense. Uh, so you want to lay that down first and then it will really blend out well later. So today I'm going to be using the Morphe 350 palette. This is this gorgeous thing right here. So for starters, I'm going to take any shade um, that's a nice transition. I'm probably going to take this one right up here. And I'm just going to take that on the Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'll go ahead and buff that into the crease area. And this will act as my transition shade. Now you want to do windshield wiper motions back and forth and fluff this out everywhere. All right, so now that I have that transition down on both eyes, I'm gonna go in with this shadow right here, the third one down on the left side, 
and it's just a little bit darker it's a little more orangey burnt orange sort of color and just with the same brush I'm going to basically apply it in the exact same spot just I'm not gonna blow it out too much just because it's a little bit darker and on my pale skin um, it will look like too much if I blow it out super far so again just on the outer corner and windshield wiper motions back and forth and just kind of pack that on there and that'll give some definition okay now with the more precise blending brush it's the Sigma E25 so I'm going to take this nice uh, dark chocolatey warm color down here um, the second one up from the bottom on the right side of the palette and on that brush I'll take it and just place it right on the outer V of my eye and as you can see this has a lot more warmth to it it's a little bit darker and more um, chocolatey and a pretty burnt orangey color and just on the outer V and again on the other eye okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that initial blending brush and um, just kind of sweep it along the edges just to soften it up a little bit like so then just to give it a little bit more of like a fiery orange color which obviously I'm into I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm just gonna kinda of blend it all over the whole thing and I'm just gonna take this brush again um, you want to use a small amount of product so I'm just gonna kinda of put that on the outer corner and then kind of just blend with that shade and it doesn't do a whole mutt bunch but it just kind of helps blend everything together and it really brings out that um, warm tone in the whole eye look now for the lid color I'm going to um, take NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk and I'm gonna place this all over um, the eyelid and then we're gonna lay a shadow down on top of it because it's just a nice sticky base so just from the inner corner I'll drag that along the lid I like to use a mixture of my fingers and a brush to blend this out um, the brush is to just get that nice cut crease so I'll just take the milk pencil and take my little brush and this is just a flat shader brush and I'll just kind of cut the crease with that this is the Sigma E56 sorry but any flat shader brush will work so then with that same brush it has a little bit of that milk still on it and I'm going to go in with this gorgeous shade but it's that one right there so I just pick up a generous amount of this product and I'll go ahead and just kind of pat and swipe and then I get really close to that crease and kind of cut it a little bit just back and forth like so and And there you have it. Now to darken up the outer corner and to sort of blend it in to the um, the pretty shade we have on our lids. We're just going to take, um, there's a lot of browns in this palette. You can just take any of these dark browns. I think I'm going to take a mixture of these two or all of them. Whatever, they're just on the bottom row. And I'm going to take those and just place them on the outer V like so. So you just want to pat it right next to the color and get kind of close to it. 
And then you can kind of turn the brush sideways and sort of blend that into the crease. And then move on to the next eye. All right, so once I have that all blended out in the outer corners, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And I'm gonna use that same flat shader brush. And I'm just gonna use this single white shade, especially for my skin tone. And that's the color right there. I have a headache. Perfect color. Erase anything that was blended up a little bit too far up there. So this is what we have so far. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and lashes. I have my eyelashes on. I'm gonna take my Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is just the little tester thing. It's just in a little like cardboard box. I'm gonna take this brush, warm up my face, bronze me up a little bit. It's the M527. I just kind of suck my cheeks in and try to stay on top of where the contour would normally go and spend a lot of time buffing that into the hairline. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take my e.l.f. small stippling brush and I just take the same shade just because it's perfect for my skin, I don't know. Swirl the crap into it. And then I kind of look down and you can see that natural contour in your cheek. And I kind of just place it in that. And that's all I do for my contouring. But you do want to bring it up just a little higher. Just because your natural contour of your cheeks is naturally going to be um, low but the reason we contour is to define and to lift the cheeks so and I don't bring it all the way in to here because I think it looks freaking crazy but yeah and then I'm gonna go in with this same brush again and kind of blend it all together then now it's time for baking. I just use any translucent um, powder, just the edge of it, right on the corner. And I just get a bunch of excess product on there. Not too, too much because it will fly everywhere. But I just take that and I go right on the contour. And I go over it a little bit just to lift it a little more. And I just do that. And then I'll go in with more. And I set all of this here. And under my chin just because um, throughout the day like at school like I'll rest on right here and so that really helps it stay longer so then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side and then I'll just take a little bit put it right under here put on my smile lines and by my nose in between the brows and then I'll just kind of set everywhere that gets a little bit shiny for me or like breaks up a little bit throughout the day I'll set that with that literally everywhere okay dispose of you okay now we're gonna go back to the eyeballs so to start off I like to take this little definer brush it's an elf brush I'm gonna go back in first with those dark shades that we use down at the bottom and I'm just going to grab the darkest one, get that on this little flat brush, and I place it right underneath the eye, like this. And I kind of wiggle it so it places the product. And you can do it a little lower on the outside, but once you get closer to the inside, you want to keep it close. Go back in with that bright orange color that we placed in there just to sort of blend everything out and add more orangey warmth. And I'm going to take that just on my Sigma pencil brush, the E30. And I'm going to take that and I'm literally just going to go kind of on it and right underneath that line we just created. Um, I say underneath is because I don't want to blend it out too much. I want like a good separation. So I take my... I should probably show it first, huh? My Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner 
literally the best glitter liners in the whole world and this is in midnight cowboy this and i'm gonna place it right underneath the lashes right on that inner corner only while that's drying i'm gonna go ahead and highlight my inner corner um, i'm gonna use the same highlights on my cheeks on my brow bone and on my inner corner i'm gonna use the Becca and Jaclyn Hill um, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, of course. I'm just going to take that on the same pencil brush, just clean it off. And I'll just pop it right on the insides, right on the tear duct area. And just a little shimmer right underneath the arch of the brow bone and that's all that we're gonna do and take this it cosmetics little mascara it's called the tightline mascara this is just a sample and wiggle it be careful not to mess up the glittery so now that I'm done with the bottom mascara I'm gonna do the top mascara and I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal voluminous original carbon black whatever mascara and I'm just gonna take this and wiggle it at the base of the lashes quickly and bring it up and all right so to finish off the face I'm going to just take a big fan brush this is one from Morphe M495 it's it's huge and I just use this just because it's so much easier to wipe away I'll go in with blush and I'll just use my elf blush brush that's what it's called and I'm gonna use the Too Faced um, blush in Love Hangover and I'll just grab some of that and just blend that now for highlighting, like I said, I'm going to use the Becca and Jaclyn Hill highlighter in Champagne Pop. And I'm going to use the Morphe M501 um, Perfect Highlight Brush. Ready? <gasps> Me every time I use this. Um, I'm going to take this weird shaped little dense flat brush. Um, it's a Morphe 333 brush. I normally use Fawn by Anastasia, but I don't have it with me. I think I'll just take this shade right here. That's kind of like Fawn. It's pretty light. But I take this and I lightly, ever so lightly, just look down and... So then I'll clean my brush off. Did it going like this, but this time I'm going to take it going like this and just blend. It out. I'm going to take the same highlighter and just my pinky and right on the tip of the nose. All right, so I'm going to go in with my NYX lip liner in nude pink, I think is the name. Yeah, nude pink. It's just a pencil one. I don't need the retractable. And... Okay, then I'm going to take my favorite lipstick in... Lipped Caviar. <laughs> and it's by NYX. It's just their matte lip line. Okay, so now I'm just going to... Use my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I think it says eight sprays. I did like one, two, three, four, thirty. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so this is the final look. Um, zoom you guys in just so you can see the final look. 
very bold cheeks, highlight, um, just very blown out brown warm eye. But yeah, if you like this video and you learned something interesting, then subscribe so you can keep up with my next videos I post. I'm going to try to do as many as I can. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you.